All right, check it out. Today we have the U-Mark Paint to Go solid paint marker. This is a permanent and water and UV resistant paint marker. It's a solid paint stick, so it gives almost like a crayon type look when you do write with it. It prefers kind of rough surfaces and it works great on uh, pretty much any surface as long as you get it going right. These U-Mark paint markers are similar to uh, Mark Alt B in that it's a dry paint stick compared to something more wet of a Sakura. So uh, these are a little bit drier. You're not going to be able to split them as easily if you want to do that. I actually just released a video on how to do that. You can try it. It's uh, definitely preferred to use more of a wet paint stick. I like to use dry paint sticks just as is. Uh, they work great and if you kind of get a feeling for using them, you can actually get them to last really long and uh, you know, it dries pretty much on contact as it is already a uh, dry paint stick so uh, that's a bonus there there's not much dry time and it gives a kind of cool unique effect for some harder surfaces so the first surface I've been testing out on was just a simple painted surface. It's pretty smooth, so it isn't the preferred uh, surface for these markers. These markers really do enjoy a rough surface, and I'd say that it works still well on the smooth surface. Um, these are more like a street sign kind of style surface, but at the same time, the tag was a little choppy. There, was, there wasn't as much uh, paint getting uh, broken off the tip into each tag. So that being said, it was a little uh, kind of choppy of a tag, but uh, you know, getting into some of the more rough surfaces, you'll see it really kind of smooths out and you can still get a nice readable, legible tag. Moving to the next surface, we have wood. The markers performed awesome on these. It's a pretty straightforward as far as how they work. The marker was able to break off at an efficient rate, so there was a nice clean and consistent line for the most part. And all the colors held up pretty true. Uh, the yellow, it was obviously a light surface on a light color, so you couldn't really see it too well, but uh, in the end, all the markers performed great. So the cardboard was a little bit smoother than wood, but not quite as uh, rough as like the brick that I'll be testing later. But overall, it definitely worked well. All the colors uh, held up true, and I actually did a dark surface to test out you know, how well the colors hold up if uh, it's not just white or just a light color. So I was very happy with all the results. Uh, the white marker in itself, it was uh, a really, really nice result. And uh, you can see I've been using that a little bit, so uh, it was broken down and uh, not in its full size. But uh, overall, I really liked how it worked, and that's just to show another kind of semi-rough surface and how the marker works a lot better than just a smooth surface. It really likes a nice little bit of uh, roughed up. So I'm going to contradict myself a little bit here with the brick surface. It was rough and the paint was able to break off the marker and write as it would, but it was a little bit too, I guess, porous in that um, there was obviously spaces and gaps between the brick and the next little piece so there's little air holes and a little kind of cracking and stuff that is part of the brick surface and you're gonna see that it doesn't stick to those pieces as well uh, when you're writing you know at a pretty efficient rate it's gonna kind of skip over those marks um, it doesn't like get into the grooves as uh, as well as I would have liked so it was a little spotty I guess I should say on the brick surface but overall it still uh, wrote true and you can see the opacity of the paint once it does come off all the light colors held up well and you were able to see them true onto like the dark red surface I really enjoyed using these paint sticks and as you can see from the white I had already gotten a ton of use prior to uh, filming this video so be sure to check out my other um, U-Mark marker videos. I have three or four of those already put together and uploaded. And be sure to check out 33 Third, where you can buy your own U-Mark markers and save 15% with my coupon code. You can find that in the description of the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please hit me up in the comment section down below. That's really going to do it for me, guys. Peace.